Hello, sir. How are you today? Good. Great. <clears throat> so have you thought about consolidating all of your credit cards into one low-cost repayment? No, but I've thought of caning them all into the red and then faking my own death. Uh, well, um, if, if you sign up today, then your name would go into a free prize draw and you could be spending two weeks in our golfing and leisure resort in Fuerteventura. How does that sound? How does that sound? Oh, hanging out with a bunch of conceited golfing twats talking about the triannual sales targets. I think it's going to be a toss-up between that and uh, licking piss off nettles. Well, um, if you did sign up today, then you would be eligible for a loan of up to £10,000 and repayments on that would be um, interest-free for a whole six months. Right. Followed by a whole six years with your curtains drawn and some tattooed bailiff shouting through your letterbox. Are you telling me you've got a licence to set up here? I mean, we're providing a public service here. It's surprise, surprise, the suits don't like it because people might stop hanging about at golfing resorts. They might whip off the Pringle sweaters and start wearing Embrace the Chaos t-shirts. And they know that would mean a shitstorm at Glen Eagles, and they are running scared. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. The important thing today is that everybody has a chance to air their grievances, and that we have, as they say, a full and frank exchange of ideas. Um, not too frank, I hope. Uh, Mrs. Wilson, would you like to start? Janet Wilson, proprietress, Bride Be Magical. When young ladies come into my shop, they should be thinking about their wedding day. And it's very difficult to create a special atmosphere for young brides-to-be when, next to my shop, there's a poster made up to look like Delia Smith showing her bottom. It's hardly magical. Mm. Hey, Tom. Uh, I was going to object to Miss Wilson, Miss... Miss Ms. Mrs. 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 Wilson. Uh, the title of her shop, uh, Bride Be Magical. I mean, if we were running the shop, uh, I'd be tempted, based on personal experience as a divorcee, to change the title from Bride Be Magical to Conceited, Self Righteous, uh, Greedy, Suburban, Small Minded, Curtain Twitching Snob. Be Magical. Yes. <clears throat> Martin? I just don't think the shop fits in aesthetically. I mean, a poster of a Teletubby pointing an AK-47 machine gun at a tweeny. It's not an AK-47, it's a Heckler & Koch G36K. The AK-47 being an abbreviation of Avtomat Kalajnikova, designed in 1947. Granted, it's an icon of engineering simplicity, but for close quarter work, not very accurate, which is why the security services, and in this case, Tinky Winky, favour the Heckler and Koch. Is that important? When you're trying to put down a moving tweeny, uh, you don't want to take out an innocent Teletubby with friendly fire. And those guys jump around a lot. Point is, there's plenty of shops that Mags and I find offensive, you know, just don't make a brew ha ha. What's the, um, what's the skipping one? Yeah, the da daft skipping one. The giant heart skipping, yeah. That's the charity shop for the British Heart Foundation. Right, no, we're done. That's the British Heart Foundation. OK, well, we're going to reconvene for the formal hearing on Saturday. I just don't get it. What's offensive about the British Heart Foundation? Nothing's, nothing, I didn't, I didn't, nothing offensive. I didn't realise it was the British Heart Foundation. I made, 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 made a mistake. <laughs>